the corner of Kitchens Road and Sherling Drive in Macon lies what some may call an eyesore. But there's a development organization that doesn't see it that way. It sees potential. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin has more. The chains have been snapped off. We're very excited about the possibilities. The windows boarded up. Transforms a uh, vacant school into a uh, performing asset. And the front drives filled with broken concrete. We're seeking the uh, support of the uh, consolidated government. But that's no big deal for the Macon Housing Authority. Changing the old Hunt Elementary into something new is what the group does. I love their art project I did. Redevelops um, the Hunt School into a uh, senior assisted living center. Um, and they want to turn that into a 63 unit facility. Bruce Gearwick, who manages special projects for the Housing Authority, presented some basic plans for the project to the commissioners Tuesday night. And through the overgrown weeds and rusty playground equipment, the Macon Housing Authority has a new vision for the old elementary school. 63 units in multiple buildings, including space to entertain seniors with dances and movies. With a possible cost of about $8.3 million, Gearwick and his colleagues need the city's help. They uh, got a tough decision to make. Uh, lots of demands on their money, but we believe this is a, a valid public purpose and uh, hopefully that can be approved. But things certainly aren't looking bad for the possibility of a senior residence. Commissioner Virgil Walken says money talks in this situation. They're really providing some solid housing, some opportunities and some improvements that are needed in our community. So if we can figure out how to fund it, I think that would be great. Now, the state passes out money each year for these kinds of projects. The developer fills out an application to get that money, and they need a certain amount of points. The more points, the better the chance they get funding. The commissioner's support gives major points on that application, and that's why it's important to have the okay from them. Gerwig said if they were approved, the senior residence could be completed around October 2016.